I'm driving home and I don't want to make a real video so I just thought I'd tell you guys what happened um, I got sent to this mountain by this girl from Bali and Aspen uh, she didn't actually send me she just told me about it and she said that it's not as it's not as hard as um, a mountain that I had already done before and so I listened to her I went there and there was someone that was parked next to me and I talked to them and I gave him bug spray and this guy tells me that it's a class one which is the easiest it basically means you can walk up the mountain and that's how he described it because he talked about what class one is to me he said it's, it involves not using your hands and he said it was super easy and he said I should I should I shouldn't w bring my gear he said that my ice axe was dead weight so I got there and um, it was by far the most dangerous mountain I've ever climbed it was scary it was it's in the maroon bells and my friend who I think is a cop now um, because he told me he's part of the cartel and he works for the cartel and he told me all kinds of stuff um, and he invited me to an orgy as weird as it sounds how, how could a cop invite you to an orgy he has constantly tried to get me to go to the maroon bells to go climb and he like ever for like 10 years he's been telling me I love the maroon bells they're the best you have to do the maroon bells like he's been emphatic I need to do the maroon bells Maroon, be maroon bells are called the deadly bells because people die there a lot like they're like they're, there's like three months a year that people climb there and very technical climbers climb there and people die all the time because it's so slippery I talked to this guy about it who's who's like a, 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 a he's like a paramedic for the for forest stuff and he said the problem with maroon bells is it's so slippery and after I've experienced similar mountains which um, castle and conundrum are similar mountains I understand completely it's slippery and if you slip you die and it's like and you really just don't want to be tired up there so this guy's telling me it's class one he's he talked me out of wearing my helmet like because he's because it's it's so easy he taught he tried to talk me out of bring my ice axe I brought it anyways do you know how much I needed my ice axe like you don't get it like this guy seriously like the the, the probability that he didn't try to kill me zero like if you climb this mountain, you would never, ever, ever say it's class one. It's fucking nuts. Like this woman was up there with a helmet. Her husband, he's done the Maroon Bells Traverse. He told me it's a class three with exposure. He says that it's, he can say it's 2D, it's class three. He says it's multiple class three moves. And that's just on Castle. And she, she's, this girl told me the Castle Conundrum are not that bad. This guy tells me Castle Conundrum are not that bad. The, the expert tells me if you try to go down conundrum like that guy said it's a class four but 50 feet of class four which means it is steep class four like it is steep rock climbing and this guy was telling me to go down that side and don't bring he was trying really hard to get me to not carry this heavy ice axe and it's like dude bullshit I'm not gonna carry it and so yeah I talked about this on Facebook probably Four, four hours ago so it's been up there if it's censored it's because Mark Zuckerberg is um, committing conspiracy to murder someone because if someone goes on the internet and talks about a situation which someone tries to murder them and then you censor it then that's you're conspiring to murder that person with a group of people because this isn't one person trying to murder me this is a girl who sent me there and made me think it was easy this was a guy that was waiting there when I got there to tell me that I shouldn't bring safety equipment. I had um, nuts in, in my bag or like for rock climbing, left them, left my helmet, left all my shit because this guy says it's class one. I get up there and I'm my dog is crying her ass off. My dog did Harvard. She 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 whined once at Harvard. She's freaking out at at at, at uh, Castle. So um yeah dude it's it's like I don't know how to deal with it because when the cops are trying to kill you and they're spying on you it's like how can you not get killed by them and I can't call the cops because I'm incompetent because I'm crazy right now like you don't understand like I'm nuts I can't call the cops like I, the reporting someone trying to murder me is me being a being a psychotic person and plus what are the cops gonna say oh we don't know it this guy that was recommending the maroon bells to you which is North Maroon Peak is one of the top 10 most dangerous mountains in Colorado and that and very few people call, climb it and it's I'm just saying like when very few people climb a mountain and then you have that many deaths and it, that's not that's not even considering the injuries there's a reason that 
no, very, very few people climb it. And the people that climb it are technical people. And so this guy trying to talk me into doing it, someone needs to find out if he's done North Maroon Peak. Because he told me it's not scary at all. This guy who's a professional climber is like, uh-uh, it is scary. And so someone needs to go make sure this guy has done North Maroon Peak. Because if he hasn't, he's been trying to kill me for 10 years and no one cares. Like, I mean, why? Because he's a cop? I mean, because he invited me to an orgy? Like, or, or, I mean, that's the thing. It's like the, the cops are disgusting. Like they're disgusting. Like after I've done this mountain, I, I suddenly realized that my, my buddy who's like, he's not my buddy anymore. Like he was trying to kill me. And it's like, I can't believe this dude just tried to kill me and right in front of everyone and no one cares.